Onward to part three. Here is the classic Strawberry Switchblade album. A rare live Lydia Lunch album with Stephen Severin on the bass. He's from Susie Nabanchi's. Einstein Zinde Neubotten. Another Einstein Zinde Neubotten. This record, I actually got this when I was 15. It's old. Jim Carroll's classic album with all the people who died. This is my favorite guitar player, give or take, in the world, Robin Trower. And my friend Bill plays drums on this album. You didn't see that. That was just your imagination. Unfortunately, like a lot of my other albums, I sold all of my talking heads, except for, I think, this one. Most of the records I sold, I have um, downloaded or bought CD copies of. Oh well, I still have this one too. Back in black. <clears throat> this album jacket is screwed, but the record's in good shape. And it's a great album. Now we're into my beloved Marian Faithful collection and the guy who came to visit and bought about a hundred of my records. He wanted these and I said, no. The cover is thrashed on this one, but the record's in excellent condition. Compilation, but it's so good. This is her most famous album and I don't understand why. I don't think it's that great. This is that record by Boyd Rice and Rose McDowell that that single goes to. This was actually um, taken off of record store shelves because um, someone tried to sue them for using the same band name or something. It literally was only on the shelves for about a week and they were all recalled. So if you have a copy of this, I think it's pretty rare. That Shriekback record got separated from the others. And this one did too. I actually really love Shriekback. They, they do dancey 80s pop, dark pop. But then some of their songs are like really moody and weird. Great album, but the cover got torn up. Water damage. If you know this record cover, you know it's a classic. Who needs to say more? And here we go with the depressed mode. I've heard that Jesus is the cure for your depressed mode. Or Jesus is the cure for your depressed mode. More depressed mode. Again, you didn't see anything weird. More depressed mode. And this is considered probably their second most famous album next to Violator. And yet another depressed mode. Classic Black Sabbath from the, like, 1972 or one. I had several of their albums, but the guy who bought my records bought all but this one. And he tried to get this one, and I said no. 1987, when Psychedelic Furs tried to go totally mainstream. Really good album, actually. I had three others of the Psych Furs albums, and that guy bought those too. Needs no introduction. My small Claudine Lager collection. I absolutely adore her. Yes, there are some classic rock albums. And while I don't like this band, I have to say this debut album is pretty good. On the contrary, this record is one of those albums that there are simply too many of them on the planet. If they collected 30,000 of them and burned them, there'd still be probably another 200,000 left on the planet. Hearts, um, singles collection. I have numerous other Hearts albums in the other stack of records. 
their famous debut album and a um, little bit of trivia. They used to practice. They used to practice right down the street from me up in um, Edmonds, Washington. And I worked at this restaurant called the Saratoga Trunk. And uh, they came in there when I was working there one time and um, the boss wouldn't let me go out and meet them. He also refused to let me go to the Iggy Pop Idiot Tour. And I quit my job after that. This was in 1977. Rocky Mountain High. That was the first two stacks, and now things are going to move quicker because most of the records in this collection are nothing special. A lot of 80s, classic rock, stuff like that. But there are some hidden gems. Let's start going through these and see if I can get this done so that we don't have to do a fourth part. Sunshine Blind 12-inch single. That's Daniel Dax. I don't know if you can read that. It's hard to tell. Schnitt Acht. Red vinyl. Clear red vinyl. Sisters of Mercy wannabes. A little more Chris Christopherson. Nina Hagen. German singer, uh, really good friends with my friend Gittel. Swans 12 inch. It's more Book of Love, as was the one right before it. And even more Book of Love. And more Book of Love. Now we're starting to get into the mainstream 80s stuff. But there are some classics in this. This is a classic by Martika, which has toy soldiers on it. No one, no one is to blame. Moving right along, folks. We're going to get this thing done in half an hour. Pet Shop Boys. OMD. No introduction needed. One of the greatest 80s albums ever made. Erasure's best album. This contains the classic 80s MTV video, Whisper to a Scream. No 80s collection would be complete without Madonna. That's a new order 12 inch. Boy, was this ever a big album, even though I didn't care for it. Now, that last one was Frankie Goes to Hollywood. This one has a couple of really famous songs on it, Melt With You being the most prominent one. Wendy and Lisa's solo album, they were from Prince and the Revolution. This one contains th three number one hits. Alpha Bill with their hit Forever Young. Bow Wow Wow. Voices Carry. Terry Nunn from this band tried to seduce me one night. I turned her down. There she is on the cover. On to part four. This was Phil Collins' classic album that had several